The Model T was difficult to stop with the rear handbrake and oil spots were showing up on the garage floor. Here is the offending oil leak. First we need to check the oil in the differential. Remove the oil plug. Observe the differential oil level. If it's just below the drain plug hole, that's good. If, however, the oil level is above the drain plug hole, oil will gush out and that means oil is migrating from the engine and transmission through the drive shaft housing and to the differential. In this case, what I'm going to do is replace the rear axle oil seal. This job is so easy, even a baby can do it. And safety is extremely important. So what we're going to do next is place two useless dead weights in front of and in back of the front wheel. This will ensure that the Model T will not move when I jack up the rear axle. The hubcap needs to be removed. Remove the carter key. Then quick as a bunny, remove the axle nut. Using a wheel puller, part number W2325647198 0216-5P, turn clockwise onto the exposed axle threads until bottomed out. With a small hammer, gently tap the end of the wheel puller. Remove the wheel puller and with a rocking side-to-side -side motion, dislodge and remove the wheel. Observe the rear wheel drum, lots of oil residue, confirming left rear oil seal failure. Remove from the inside of the brake drum all of the oil deposits and clean thoroughly. Remove the axle key. Remove the brake retracting spring. Remove the brake shoe band. Using a bearing puller purchased from Pep Boys Auto Supply and modified for this job, Remove the axle housing cap. Harvey? Harvey, where are you? I need you. Harvey! <laughs> Remove bearing, thoroughly clean, lubricate with heavy duty drum grease, and drink lots of coffee. Using bearing sleeve removal tool purchased from Chafin's Garage, Insert into bearing sleeve. Rotate until a click is heard or felt. With a large prying instrument inserted into the end of the sleeve removal tool, rotate and pull, keeping in mind that making a groaning sound seems to help. Reach in with a spring hook or modified metal clothes hanger and remove the rear axle oil seal. Using a new oil seal, place epoxy around the inside or rear outer perimeter. Insert new oil seal into place and reverse the disassemble process and you'll have a T that runs as well as, well, a T. Now it's time to test drive.